What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Drew Marcy, rap coach extraordinaire, world's first and only rap coach, your mom's favorite rap coach, all that good stuff. And today, we're going to have something new. It's sort of like an ESPN style, or if you're from around the world, Sky Sports style commentary and breakdown, step by step, of one of my tracks that I've done. You can go check it out. I have links, and in the background of this video, you'll be hearing some of the music, but you can go check in the video description here, the full song. But what we're gonna do is break down with live examples, step-by-step, -step, tips and things that I'm thinking basically as the song is going along, so that you're getting actual real live examples of what an artist is thinking, what you can use. You can take these ideas, make your own dope shit. Basically, I just wanna make a video and we're gonna have more of these where basically these are the little tactics and subtle things that I'm doing to make the track. And they're examples with wordplay, vocal delivery, song construction. So without further ado, that's a good little introduction, but let's get into it. Now this song is called I Said No. And this is a beat produced by a guy named Classics Beats. I, I don't know this guy, but I was looking up Kanye West type beats for free. Something I could just use. I'm not making an album or promoting a mixtape or nothing like that. I'm a rap coach. I'm coaching people to do that stuff. But found the beat. So shout out to him. The shit was dope. It had a nice, interesting feel. So as you listen to it, the first thing I want you to notice, and this is a point about wordplay, is I start off with uh, the theory of repetition, basically. So what I'm doing is starting off with the, I wonder about taking a life, I wonder about the da, da 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 So the first few bars are repeated. The first few words of each bar in the beginning of the song are repeated. I wonder about taking a life, I wonder about ending it all. I wonder about taking a knife, I wonder about shopping the song. I'm thinking of doing it smooth. And what that allows me to do is think of different clever ways with wordplay to describe the same emotion, basically, or develop this character. And in, in the case of the song, as you hear it, when you listen to it, you'll notice I'm kind of embodying a character of this dude who's considering killing somebody or you know, ending somebody's life. So it starts off, I wonder about taking it live. I wonder about doing it all. I wonder about sharpening a knife. I wonder that, what, you know, that kind of stuff. So the first step and the first tactic I'm using here is repetition when you're starting the bars off. So you can use this in the middle of the song, you can use this at the end. The idea is basically uh, having a repeated phrase. You know, I also do that later on with I'm thinking about doing, I'm thinking about. I'm thinking of doing it smooth. I'm thinking about making escape. I'm wondering what I could do. I'm wondering what motherfucker could suffer when that motherfucker is you. And what that allows you to do is not have to worry as much about the start of the bar. You can actually start to just build the story based off the repeated phrase. So repetition is number one. Now, the other thing that I do is I, I have an idea of basically the message I'm trying to send, like in the sense that I already know that there's going to be a character that I'm building. Uh, having an idea of where I'm gonna go. Uh, and this is this character who I said no. I was gonna kill this guy, I was gonna do that, I was gonna take this guy's girl, whatever it is, this character, but I said no. You again, but I'm thinking I think of a firm murder on a track and a word server. No beef, I don't serve burgers. Get a pass like Kurt Warner. Get a pass like Tom Brady. Yeah, it's cool, man, it's all gravy. I admit I've been called crazy, but it's been from all ladies. So I said no. So when you're starting the song, one way to really get into it, before you even start writing, you may want to consider what kind of track I'm going to be doing. What is the general idea? That allowed me, when I was writing the rhymes, to, to worry more about what are words that go into the idea of a killer, because like I said, that's just the character I'm playing here. So words like saw, um, t doing it all, as you can hear in the lyrics, I'm, uh, uh, like it's easier for me to think of rhymes that I want to use because the word saw works naturally for the subject matter of killer because that is part of you know what killers use they use saws and guns and shit so that's the second thing is making sure you're kind of aware of the general idea you're going for now on a songwriting tip another tactic i use as you'll notice is the beat is kind of unorthodox it's bouncy it's got that kind of west you know I, it's not like every other beat so in the chorus, I actually pause, if you notice. I don't fill it in, so I just say, but I said no. I admit I've been going crazy, but it's been from all ladies, so I said no. So I said no. So I 
So I said, like, no. And then the don, 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 and then I say, I said no. So there's actually a full pause. And this is one thing I noticed a lot of up and coming rappers do. What they do is they feel like they have to have every part of the beat uh, be filled with words or voices or ad libs. Not necessarily. Sometimes, especially with these unorthodox beats, you may want to just let it breathe and your chorus is just like a one word phrase or, so, or like uh, just a, a, a little short, like, you know, expression, like I said no. And then you bring it back as I do in the second verse. Uh, there's more that I could break down with this particular track, but I want to make this quick, easy for you to, you know, implement these ideas. These are three big ideas and these are tactics that I use, obviously in real life, every single day. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I use. So when you when you come back and you're, you're ending this video, or if you come back and rewatch this and start doing it, remember, repetition makes it a lot easier to fuck with wordplay because you're not worried about necessarily like, what's the next word? You can start with, I wonder about da 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 da, and then you're only worrying about the end of the bar, or I'm thinking about la la la. So think of some phrases you can repeat. That second thing I do is make sure that I have a general idea of what kind of angle I'm going for. So when I'm thinking of rhymes to use, I already know that saw is probably a, a, a good word because like it's about killing and shit like that. Now I'm not actually, by the way, planning to kill anyone. It's just it's a saw, just a character. Uh, and then the last thing is, you know, being aware that you don't need to fill the entire song with words, you know, especially if you're, you're breaking down the flow and I do a lot of funky flow stuff with it. With that being said, hopefully this helps. I'll be doing more of these in the video description box of this uh, very video. You can find a link to the entire full song. I know you're only hearing parts in this and you can go listen to it. It's also on the channel. And if you're interested in this kind of stuff, if you if you like the way that I'm explaining it and you're interested in actually getting coached directly by me for your music rather than me just breaking down on YouTube, uh, click in the video description box, the exclusive group. It's an online class I do. I'm a rap coach. I'm gonna tell you straight up, it's not completely free. Free. You know, we want to make sure that people who are very serious and willing to invest in their career are part of it. So this is only for people who are serious, willing to take a little bit of their funds to actually get the coaching they need. But it's one of the best things you know, I've been doing. It's the way that I make sure that the rappers that are interested in this kind of stuff are getting the help they need. And it's something where I actually work with you directly. So there's a little plug at the end of there. But the most important thing is start using this stuff. Uh, take this stuff seriously. Use repetition. You know, be aware of what kind of beats you're going for and the angles. And hopefully this helps. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace. My figures, my niggas, my team got a big game And a rap Phil Jackson a nickname So the track getting past to the sensei You react to the stats going insane And he rap like crack in a membrane